Hi there, welcome to Rambling on Music, a place with musical discourses for musical minds. I'm Holly Q, and this is part three of a three-part series documenting my experiences at the first ever David Bowie World Fan Convention here in Liverpool. Enjoy. taking their time this morning because of the Bowie Ball that went till 1am last night. But we have made it through. This is the final day of the David Bowie World Dance Convention. There's going to be some great talks today with Jonathan and Chris Duffy, Philippe, uh, Dennis, all of the photographers. Um, Nicholas Pegg is hosting a quiz show later tonight in one of the venues in Liverpool. So it should be still a very interesting day. I'm certainly feeling it. I've had like four teas. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day, but it's gonna be an eventful one. So without further ado, let's go into the conversation. You're rarely in control of everything. Um, and there was a plan to do uh, a Red Star, a Red version for the Day Bowie's exhibition in Japan. And they sent me the uh, artwork that they had done. And I said, this is terrible. <laughs> and I'll do it for free because I want it to be good. Um, so uh, they were very nice. I said, no, we'll pay you. But it was just um, it was something done by the marketing department. And I just didn't want it to be rubbish. One Sunday, I came down the stairs. And this music was blasting out. And I thought, that's really cool. And you've got to... Remember that every generation kind of fights against its parents. You don't want to listen to your parents' music, and they certainly don't want to listen to yours. But Duffy was so eclectic, he would play anything. And I said to him, what? what's that? He said, uh, it's called Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. It's David Bowie. I went, that's pretty cool. Can I borrow that record? And he said, yeah. He said, um, I'm shooting his next album cover. Do you want to meet him? And I said, yeah. They said, meet me at um, the Trident Studios next Tuesday at 7 o'clock. And so I went down. Having first photographed David at, at uh, Victoria Station as he arrived, he was there to play, of course, at Wembley, what was then called the Wembley Empire Pool. Yes. Um, so you, you photographed the concerts there. Um, you, you, were, you got right up the front and did some, some, had some quite good access, I believe. Yes, I take all picture of uh, all English too and European too and at this period there was not for, for us not scream or so but we can take pictures in all the show long it's not the same scene it's better. and after Ersa said oh you work here with David okay stay coming for the European next it's okay okay go to every because after the last show, last show in Paris, David Bowie and Iggy Pop go to the Chateau de Rouville for the beginning of the recorded of Idiot and Low Session. It's a very old castle and very close up uh, company. And I'm going to the Chateau to take a picture from RCA. And I can look in the man because he was not David Bowie, he was David Robert Jones. And she was stand there. The man in a recording session it was very strange. And he came out um, and sat in the vocal group. And you know it was like, got his headphones on, and it was just, it felt like 45 seconds of getting a level check. You know what I mean? It was so quick. Yeah. And there was just no. Uh, la 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 There was none of that, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was a level check. He's singing a couple things with the track just to get his, his volume set. And then they ran it from the beginning. You know, I was just sitting there checking it out. And, and then he 
we had a whole tank in 10 minutes. And he said, okay, let's do this, you know, one spot a game, and that's it. And that was it. Really quick. And then I, 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 I did a, um, a few passes on this thing. And then I was I'm with my kid, and um, a couple months, and I was interacting with him about Blackstar, but in the meantime, I didn't know what happened to this. A couple months later, it comes out, and I was like, that sounds like scratch vocal to me. And, and, then, and then eventually, I, I talked to Tony this and he said, yeah, that was it. Like, I couldn't believe it, that he could sing something like that after sitting in the control room for five hours, no vocal warm-up, and could just dive in and nail this thing that's, that's not an easy vocal. Like, it's not easy, right? Thank you. I, I was, I was so, I was so impressed with that, and that dynamic continued in the last time. Yeah. to get involved in that, so we're going to work, work the way out to do that, so be patient with us, because it's not something we've worked out just yet, but we will work that out, I promise, um, so before we go general, we'll make sure everyone who's involved here gets the chance to do it. From 
Sun City, the company that's put all of this together. Uh, please welcome back, David, who I think might have some I'm going to have to stay with my words, but thank you very much. Carlos, the last great good video I think you wanted to make a quick few words, did you? Or did you? A few words from me. <laughs> we have made a lot of friends, from fans to friends. That usually doesn't happen. We have actually come of age. We have shared moments. I think we have had clarity. And I love the fact that some of us have had closure. But now we need to support. I'd really love to see you all go online. I'd really like to see BowieConvention.com. At BowieConvention.com. Man, y'all took a lot of photos. I need to see some of those, because some of those, I need God's approval. <laughs> Don't be shy. Support that which we love. We rarely get these chances. So, it is generational, and let's show our power. Last, I've had the bee's knees meeting all these great people like Carlos and Robin and Leah and Woody, all these fantastic people. So, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. It is indeed time to go home. Thank you so much for watching part three of a special three part series looking at my experience at the first ever David Bowie World Fan Convention. I had such a blast, it, a phenomenal weekend. I've been to conventions before, I've been to the, the Beatles one, and I've been to academic conventions, but this was like nothing else that I'd ever experienced before. The absolute love and support and gratitude from the fans towards the musicians that were there. It was very mind-blowing, very humbling, and a very warming experience. And I think given the last couple of years, that's exactly what everybody needed was that feeling of um, positivity and meaning something to somebody. <laughs> so it was just an absolutely great experience. I'm going to be doing a video following this, just kind of doing a bit of a recap. So if you didn't want to watch the whole fiasco of the three days, this is going to be a nice little summary video coming up later in the channel. Of course, if you did like the very long and drawn out three part series, please don't forget to give it a like, a thumbs up, and a subscribe. Also, feel free to check out our other platforms for social media. We have the Rambling On Music website, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. If this seems like something that you would like to do, you can, because they've announced the next David Boy World Fan Convention is going to be taking place in June of next year, June 16th, 17th, and 18th in New York. What an amazing place to experience some Bowie history and, uh, you know, what it would have been like for him in New York and all the influences that City had on his work. A great place to host the David Bowie Convention. If you'd like more information on this particular convention, please visit their website, which is BowieConvention.com. If you want information regarding the next one coming up, same address, BowieConvention.com forward slash 2023. 
Thank you again so much for watching. It's been an absolute blast documenting this and sharing this with you all. I hope you enjoyed it. And until then, just dance! Dance magic, dance! Let's dance. All of it. Thank you so much. Bye!